three, two, one. What's up, everybody? Uh, my name is Misha. This is the number one construction channel in the world. If you are seeing this and you're like, damn, why did the algorithm show me this channel? Well, it's because you're a winner and uh, you like to win with Winnie. Bang, look at that. Um, so what we're gonna be doing today is installing this wall mount tub faucet. The faucet that we had here before was the wrong one. And we're going to have to, you know, when we were tiling, we just pushed it out of the way. Now we, now that this showed up, it came two weeks late. Uh, we're going to cut this out and then be able to kind of install all of this. We do have an access panel here that we'll open up and kind of get to the parts. Um, as I'm gonna be doing this, Alex is going to be reading questions. If you guys have any comments or anything like that, I'd love to uh, you know, be of service to you guys. Um, if you are enjoying these streams and what we are doing here, make sure that you smash in that like button. I would really, really appreciate that. Um, otherwise, we can just get right into it. All right, who do we got? Anybody tune in just yet? Yep, we got 23 people. 23 people, where are you guys from? Warren, I'm gonna watch for a bit. I'm gonna watch for a bit. All right, so. Eddie's here. What's up, Eddie? We're building a, uh, a mini army of just winners that are, <laughs> just wanna renovate bathrooms or just like construction. I'm trying like a new approach. Come over this side. Uh, I'm trying a new approach on construction of just like not new approach, but like I want to show the fun side of it. I feel like right now it's either two things people are showing. The the drama behind it, kind of like, oh, I hate this, blah, blah, blah. Or the flex, like, yo, look how sick I am at what I do. Uh, I'm trying to just be like the guy who's just still learning. I've only been doing this for like three, four years. I'm still learning, but I love making videos. I love doing this, interacting with you guys. Um, and I just got to keep sharing. So first thing we're gonna do is I've already kind of marked it out, but we're going to go right here with our um, faucet on the other side. So I'm going to be using a uh, Ruby uh, tiling, uh, like drill, drill bit kit. Essentially it kind of goes like this. Whoa. I'm going to line this up exactly kind of where I want it. Here, side to side. Like that. Sean, like squad. Like squad in the house. Let's go. So the record right now, if you guys are competitive in any way, like whatever, the record for the most likes during one of our streams is 85. And that was Catherine and I, we got that uh, over the weekend. So if you guys want to beat that and you want to be part of history, um, make sure that you're hitting that like button. But all right, so I'm going to drill this. I'm going to drill this. Um, and uh, these out, and then we're going to open up the access panel and cut out the other uh, the, the other valve. We're gonna cut it out. I got my expansion tool, all that stuff. We gotta solder on some stops, not stops, some transitions. I have them, one. Michael, morning guys. What's up, Michael? Nice to see you. Yo, I'm so excited. We, we got our four people selected for the training that we're going to be doing. Uh, we already, uh, some people already booked flights. Two people are flying in. Somebody's flying in from San Diego and then somebody's flying in from Colorado. Just so cool. And then somebody's from Maine and somebody's from Massachusetts. So those two are gonna drive in, but then the other um, two people, I'm like gonna go to the airport and pick them up. <laughs> like, so like, cool, <laughs> I, I guess. Um, yeah. Hello from Nashville. What's up, Donald? Uh, hello, hello. All right, so. Richard Ortiz, good morning from Tampa, Florida. Good morning, Richard. Nice to, nice to have you in here. Canada, here, yeah, straight out of the creek. Straight out of the creek. Yo, you guys know that moose life. We're we're right near Canada, up here where we live. Stephanie, good morning. I got my flight. Stephanie, what's up? We're so so pumped. You guys are coming in early. We gotta see when the guy from Colorado is going to fly in, so then I can pick both of you guys up. It's a bit of a drive for me, like two hours uh, to Boston. All right, so what we're gonna do is the sponge is going to be on the wetter, wetter side, just so that it can actually uh, help lubricate the, the drill bit. I got my uh, little Ruby holder over here. 
So then all I have to do is just gently start drilling this out and then I'll put the sponge on top of it to uh, make it wet. So Alex is probably gonna mute it, but in the meantime, you guys can all just go ahead and like the video. Oh! Hello from Brooklyn, Massachusetts. Just wondering if you have any issue cutting the seam between the two pieces of marble. So this is uh, not marble. This is a, uh, somebody just asked if we have issues cutting this. This is not marble. This is actually porcelain tile. And um, we are not having any issues cutting this. I'm just having issues taking this out. Stephanie said, okay, 9 a.m. Hang It's gonna be awesome. Mike Floyd, good morning from New York City. What's up, Mike? When putting the guide down, I'd be careful not to place pressure against the tub frame. I don't think I was. Hi from Turkey. Hello, Turkey. Alright, so now let me just. Wow, I got it right where the other one used to be, which is kind of clutch. Actually, it's over like half an inch. All right. So we got one, we got to do two more, then we're gonna pop this panel off on the side and, uh, and then kind of start figuring out our, our uh, wall mount faucet here. All right, so let's. Paul, what are the advantages of cutting the faucet holes after you've installed the tile? There is no advantages. I wouldn't do it this way. It's just because we, uh, this faucet right here uh, took way too long to come. Like it took three weeks essentially to arrive from when we ordered it. So we had to close it up. So ideally I would have done this before obviously the shower system because now I'm going to have to crawl into the panel in here and try to hook it up from that side. So there is no advantages. I wouldn't do it. Uh, I wouldn't recommend, I guess doing it that way. But at the same time, it's not going to be that hard uh, for us to uh, get it in. Hello, Mitch from Michigan. Admin for CCL schools under Luna Union. I love your streams. Your workmanship is fantastic. Would you fly out of state for a client? Uh, no, we would not. Um, I appreciate that. But we, um, you know, I have a small, I have a young family. Um, a five-year-old, a two-year-old, so I'm not trying to uh, to do that. All right, we got that one. Let's do the third one. Tyler, hey daddy. <laughs> What's up, son? <laughs> He's funny. <laughs> Tyler's funny. No, this. Is, you know, like I'm guaranteeing you guys, this channel, at some point in the near future, maybe in the metaverse, will be the biggest construction channel in the world. And like you guys that are here like now and like watching this interacting with 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 us like we'll be forever friends like tyler you'll be forever my my son <laughs> but like we we have ambition to what we want to do but like you know the early people and i know that will happen because that's what happened with TikTok. that's what happened with instagram like the early people like i still like 
interact with them and fool around with them like now like i mean we have 2.6 million subscribers on on tiktok but the early people like, like i still you know we're friends which is that's what that's what's happening here like it or not all right mitch said what if the pain was exquisite exquisite it have to be very exquisite where, where was it utah uh no michigan michigan i don't know it'd have to be very exquisite all right <laughs> Douche. There we go. That's two. I need my bathroom entirely redone. I want something the contractors out here cannot do. And he said Michigan again. And he said the bathroom is small, but I want to redo the entire thing with a budget of 12k. Yeah, I don't think we can come. <laughs> like, um, it's yeah, we don't we don't travel for work. I mean, even this where we live, like this project that we're doing right now. It's like 40 minutes from my house. And I'm like, this is kind of far. The reason we moved to New Hampshire from New York is because we wanted to kind of focus on the family and kind of have a lifestyle where we can just kind of live. And that's uh, why we are where we are. Austin, what up boys, Misha? I enjoyed your videos this weekend. Yo, let's go. Catherine had a little cameo this weekend. We had a cool idea, actually, that next time we, we do live with Catherine, because she's never tiled before. So I was thinking like, we should do a live of, like, in, of her, like we can set up a little mock like wall and just have her tile as like we're doing the live. I think that would be so funny. Um, she'd be into it. I mean, she, she is into it. She's like, I'll try it. Um, but I thought it, it was kind of, it, it was fun. You know, like, yeah, so I think we, we were going to give that a shot. Remember that mock setup you uh, did for me? Yeah, in the garage? Yep, I think it'd be perfect. Huh? I think it'd be perfect. Yeah. They just look in the middle of it and throw in a toilet flange. <laughs> All right, now one more. I went to a store today and I want to hear your guys' feedback called Harbert Freight. I mean, you guys all know that company. Um, it's like the cheap tools, quote unquote, right? So I went in there just to see kind of what they had because they actually had a physical store next to us and I've never been and I was like, all right, I want to see what's up. They got a lot of cool stuff in there. So I, I kind of have an idea of like, I'd love to get this, you know, um, this Hilti, it's a 22 volt battery. Um, what is it? Five, five amp hour battery. I'd love to test this against like one of their cheapest drills and see like, is it actually that bad? Or is this actually that good? Or is Hilti, Milwaukee, DeWalt just really good at branding? They could be, they, they, they could. So I actually want to do like a series on YouTube of just like testing that out. Like I want to get a, a table saw for a hundred bucks 150 bucks, I saw one. And then a table saw for 500 bucks, it's a DeWalt, and put them up against each other and see like how they do. What do you guys, like if you guys think that's a cool idea, throw a like. Um, and then if we get 100 likes on this video, I'm definitely doing that like this weekend. Tonight. <laughs> All right. Because I just feel like some of these companies are just good at branding. Like your Makitas and all that. 
Even though Makito's kind of sucks. All right. Oh yeah? Yes. Alright. Alright. Daniel. Hey Winnie, I've been watching you getting ready to do my bathroom metal. Thanks for being awesome. Let's go. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. What's his name? Dan? Uh, Daniel. Daniel. Thank you so much, man. If you ever have questions, I'm trying to do these streams every single day until New Year's, unless you guys tell me you don't want me to do them. Um, and if you ever have any questions while you're doing your bathroom, just hop in here every day, right here. Logan, hello. How are you guys doing? What's up, Logan? Um, Thomas, have you considered drilling one more hole below so it looks like a face? Like a face? No. <laughs> Spaldo, what's up, y'all? What's up, Spaldo? Tyler, your son. Can I build a bathroom with you? <laughs> Maybe one day. <laughs> Spaldo, to your... Uh, like a kid in a candy store, Harbor Freight. I know, everything was so cheap. I saw this welder. I don't know how to weld, but I saw a welder for like 250 bucks. Now I'm like, damn, I should do a video of like, hey, I've never welded before. I'm going to weld for the first time. I feel like that would be actually kind of funny to see like how you, I do, I, I guess. You know, never having to weld before. They have like a whole can of welders on Harbor Freight and the Gilbert. Bang. So this is exactly what we want to see. Perfect. Happy with that. So now, what we're going to do is... Uh, Mitch, dang. I'll pay for uh, flights for the boat uh, stream. I would definitely make it worth both your whiles and your families. I also wouldn't be interested until March 2022 after closing and used to rent. Mitch, no. <laughs> it's just, no. I don't want to like lead you, lead you on. We don't travel. We had somebody offer to go to freaking London to do it. That would be actually cool. But we were like, nah. Maybe in a couple of years. Um, all right. So now. Mike, cool idea. Cool idea with the Harbor Freight? I think so. I think a lot of these uh, companies, like your Milwaukee's, your Hilties, just literally have a bunch of simps. <laughs> just have a bunch of... Uh, um, I think they're really good at branding. They're in the right stores. And I think that's why they, uh, you know, they're, they, they're so renowned. But in reality, I want to test and see like, all right, one versus the other. And again, maybe, you know, if you're doing this full time and you're like this full out blown out contractor, sure, maybe, but not everybody is. So if somebody's trying to get into the industry, you know, like... Maybe you don't need all this stuff. All right, so check this out. So now we're in the back over here. That's the old faucet here that I need to cut out. Um, and then, so we have these shutoff valves. So kind of happy we put these, installed these. I'll shut that off. Richard, that would be awesome. We got a lot of Harbor Freight stores in Florida. Nice. Yeah, I mean, for us, this was the first one that opened right near us. Otherwise, it's all online. And I think that's where they're notorious. It's kind of online. All right, so there's going to be a little bit of water coming out right now. Can 
Now let the pressure come out. I think it will be big. I just need shorter and better captions for the thumbnails to beat the algorithm. Who does? You. I need shorter captions? Yeah, for when we do the, uh, like, tools and things. Yeah, well, I was going to say, like, like, uh, Harbor Freight sucks. Dot, dot, dot. Right? Yeah, like, something like that. Uh, all right, I'm gonna just cut this thing. One, two, three. Tyler, you got a sponsor yet? One, two, three. Um, we do have a couple sponsors on uh, like Instagram and TikTok, but I am not sponsoring with anybody on uh, on um, YouTube just because I don't want that to be affecting the content. Uh, hold on. Project Farm YouTube this already with very good stats on all compared to that. Cool. I mean, a lot of content all across like social media is ripped off, I guess, of other people. I'm sure they got that idea from somebody else. Uh, but I'm going to just do my own twist on it, you know? There's an entire channel based on this already with over 2 million subs. Well, that's promising. That's good then, right? Um, but what I want to do is like throw the tools against the wall and see how that, you know, how, how it does during that. I don't know. Um, right here. All right, so what we need to do is solder this on. You know, I'm, I'm trying to not put like the Winnie channel into a box of just like, hey, it's just bathroom renovations because we're going to move out of outside of bathroom renovations like by next year. So like I want to experiment with other content as well. So we're still trying to figure out our space, our place in all of this. See that, but that would be fine, right? Um, I'm not gonna touch those valves. Okay. Tyler, you thought about building a home? We have. So the goal is to build a giveaway house, um, but we're just not there yet. We're probably a year out from doing that. The channel needs to like be three times bigger. Once the channel is about three times bigger, then we'll be able to fund a construction because I'm giving every everything, whatever we make with the channel, I'm giving back. And that's why like this training that we're doing, I mean, we're putting people up in a hotel room. So like people are flying out, like there's gonna be dinners. I mean, like I'm doing, getting all the materials, building sets, all that is from the channel. Um, I'm not trying to, you know, make money off the channel. I'm trying to reinvest it all. Kind of using Mr. Beast strategy on this. Um, so the goal is once the channel is big enough where it can fund a construction of a house, we're going to be building a house and then giving that house away to one of you guys um, on Christmas. So I don't think I can do that next year because the channel is just not that big. Um, but once it gets big enough where we can afford to do that, then that's what I want to do for a living, basically. Build these giveaway houses. Um, and we'll see. I mean, it's it's just any to any patience. The you know whatever. The Mario. Thanks, sure. Let's go. Thank you so much. I mean, we grew over a hundred thousand subscribers in three months. So I think we're like we're on the right path here. Um, it's just gonna take time. When you do a big bathroom, do you ever feel that you will never finish? Question mark. Especially when the small thing takes a whole day and you felt like you didn't do anything that day. Yeah, it's like right now. We've been here for like seven weeks probably. But it's always been like one thing after another. Like this didn't come through, that didn't come through. Like it's just always been one thing after another. But we're hoping to be done here by tomorrow. That's the goal. On, on uh, Thursday, Alex and I are going to be driving to New Jersey. We're doing a bathroom for somebody. Not a bathroom. 
a backsplash for one of you guys, uh, uh, one of the subscribers. Um, we did a, ba a backsplash giveaway and she won. And it's gonna be in New Jersey, so we're gonna be driving down there on Thursday to do her bathroom. I've never met this person before. Um, we paid for the whole thing, for the tile, we paid for, like, she's getting it 100% free. Um, and we're just gonna get a backsplash video out of it, and I think it's kinda of cool. Austin, you could do a really... I can't hear you. I'm not sure if this is brass or copper or what's up with that. It's not really, uh... It's not soldering on that easy. Says weld it. Well, I don't feel good about that solder joint. Let's see if this one's gonna be any better. You just have any idea why that might be happening? Blood free solder. See this one is fire. That one came on really nice. This one is sketchy. Maybe I just got it too hot. I'm gonna let that cool down for a second. This one is sketchy. I am going to redo that one. When you start filming building the house, trust me, you're gonna blow up. I don't know, it's one of those things like maybe I'll just put an investment of my own money. I don't have a lot <laughs> into it, but that's gonna be have to be my full time job. So we might get sponsors for that. But nobody's gonna give a house away. But like you know, I don't wanna just be like a construction channel. Like I actually wanna like be big enough that you can like like make a difference. Alright. When you tile a standalone shower, do you tile floor or walls first? I always do the floor first and then cover it with um, the wall tile. 
Thomas, doesn't the flux container say not to touch it with your hands? Careful, it is acid. Yeah, this this joint is legit. This one is sketchy as anything. I'm gonna take it off and clean it up. Oh, let me see if I have some pliers. Do you do? Do you have pliers here, Alex? Do you know? This channel works in the garage. On the second, one second. All right, so feel really good about that joint. This joint is sketchy as anything. I'm gonna have to take it off and kind of redo it. This is why we're doing it live. And honestly, that's the scary part about doing all this stuff live because there's nothing I can edit out. And uh, that's why I think it's kind of cool to see the real side of construction, I guess, because I'm sure this happens with a lot of people. Uh, yeah. Honestly, though, there's solder all over it, so it's, it was probably fine. It was just kind of a little bit sketch. So this is a transition basically to go to our uh, pecs that we have in there. Austin, Alex, when are we going to get to see you work? Alex, Alex doesn't work. He just videotapes stuff. <laughs> Alex works in the shadows. Thor, Alex with the good vid capture. Happy to be here with all of you. Hello from Minneapolis. What's up, Thor? Nice to see you. Thank you for commenting on the videos. I really appreciate that. And I definitely see it. All right. Let's see if we can do better this time. Honestly, I probably should just not touch it and let it actually set. Somebody said, don't touch the flux with your hands. I did not read the instructions, so I don't feel that bad. All right. Wow. Thor, you guys are cranking out so much. It's now my full-time job commenting. Full-time job commenting. Thank you so much. Can't tell you how much that means. It's, uh, we're trying, you know? I feel like a lot of people ask, like, oh, bro, how do you, like, like, how do you guys grow so fast? It's like, it's just genuine effort into doing that. And that's where, like... I, it's my hobby. I don't like do anything else outside of this. So it's, I enjoy it. Whoa, whoa easy. Why is that happening? <laughs> is this too hot?
Do you guys have any idea why this might be happening? Oh, just one of those things that somebody was just saying, like, everything is just not going right. Well, I don't feel like this is going right right now. So, let's see if we can start over again. Cool this down. Austin, uh, Misha, Marvel or DC? Marvel, 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 100% Marvel. Good weekend. I caught it late, but I enjoyed the Q&A with your wife. Oh, let's go. Thank you, Sheriff. Um, that was fun. We've never done it like that before. And we were there for over an hour. I thought that that, that was kind of cool. Um, we have a couple other topics, like talking points now that we like people t said that we should talk about. I think it's going to be kind of cool. We want to do that at least twice a week. I think that would be fun. Um, you know, there's not... I feel like a lot of people want to have that kind of husband and wife you know, do a relationship, but not everybody has like somebody to model against or, you know, so I think this would be beneficial or help people out. Plus I want to just show more of Catherine on the channel and it's just, you know, we'll do some design tips and whatever. Oh, come on, Billy. Low flame. The more you host your show, the better you slash we get at this. Thanks for you, for all you do. Appreciate you. I really appreciate you guys. Anybody, the like squad. Appreciate the like squad. Come on. I saw solder go back there and it's dripped out of bottom. So honestly, I think it's going to be okay. Let's hope this cool down. Yo, this is why I like PEX so much better. I should just put some shark bites on this, call it a day. There's always shark bite option if you wanted to like, go that route. Never too late to shark bite this whole thing. I don't want like, I don't want that heat to get too close to the valve. I mean, it's just warm. It's not too hot, um, but you don't want that, you know, the actual mixing stuff in, in here to get too hot. Ryan, I've been watching your videos for a while now and really enjoy your work. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much, Brian. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I'm hoping that this did not suck. What? The other one took so well. Any plumbers in there? Living simply, your wife is very beautiful. Congratulations. You two interacted very well together. Yo, thank you so much. Uh, she's great. 
she actually enjoyed it too. It was like she didn't know how it was going to go for her. Sure, some design vid slash shorts would be great so she can show us the thought behind the design, the pattern choice, etc. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll have to figure that out. Right now, honestly, we're just so set focused on closing out this job and just like, I'm ready for a break. Like, I am genuinely ready for a break. Um, all right, so if we want to make this longer, it looks like this comes off. These are the shorter ones. It looks like this does come off. Optional parts for wall, thicker over one inch. Or oh, I gotta get some lunch delivered to you guys someday. That would be cool. Ryan, before you start any designs, did you work for a contractor or were you a DIYer? I, I had experience in, uh, in construction. Um, just because when I moved here from Ukraine, I, uh, when I moved here from Ukraine, my family was super, super poor. And uh, there was no other option but to go into construction. And, oh, damn, I'm a dummy. This just slides over and I was just trying to take that thing off. What a dummy. So, yeah, so I never worked for any, I, I worked, I guess, for somebody um, like doing framing when I was in high school. Um, and then when, once when I was in college as well, I did framing on like my winter breaks and stuff. That was my favorite framing. Um, and then after that, uh, that was, I, I dropped out of college and then did, uh, Winnie, uh, I started Winnie designs. Well, no, I started American hybrid homes and that thing, uh, I had for about three years, and then that um, didn't work out. Um, I was not the smartest person at doing what I was doing, made a massive amount of mistakes, and then the company essentially went under. Um, so I had to shut that down, and then I ended up moving to New Hampshire, and then here, learning from those lessons, started over, and uh, we actually have like a successful company here. So that's kind of cool. But then one thing led to another, we started social media and then, you know, started posting videos on TikTok. I talked to Gary V, it was like one of the highlights of my life. I talked to Gary V, we went viral on uh, TikTok. I posted on TikTok, like, you know, every single day, essentially on TikTok. For, like five to 12 times a day. And like, yeah, like that's a lot. Um, and we went viral on that. And then I was like, yo, I feel like we have no presence on Instagram. So then I went and start posting on Instagram based on the stuff that I learned on TikTok. Start posting on there. Went viral there. Um, kind of feel good about that. So recently, like two months ago, I was like, yo, I feel like we have no presence on, on YouTube. So now YouTube's my next thing. But, you know, I'm, I'm spending like 60 hours a, a week on social media and doing all this stuff. Um, so the business itself, like our actual construction business took a big hit because of social media. Um, so that's why I, I'm just kind of going for it all in just so I can actually make it as like part of my life. Um, you know, I have to choose one one or the other and we're choosing like you know, back off social media or go f like more into social media. And we're choosing to go more into social media. And that's the story of my life. Do you really trust shark bites? No, we use shark bites when there's like 
temporary stuff. Like, hey, we just, you know, we, we took this off. We want to cap it. That's when we use shark bites. What is this from? This is if you're trying to go even longer. It's like random parts. Um, so no, we don't trust shark bites for, for those types of things. Um, but when, you know, when we're doing demo and we just got to plug a couple pipes, I feel like it's fine. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of how I'm feeling right now. I'm like, ah, something's not up to this. But uh, yeah, it's kind of where I'm at right now. <laughs> that's funny. It's gonna go there. Pretty nice. I like that this is not too obnoxious. Yo, we had this one tub that we did and the, the faucet that was coming out of it was so big. It was like this big and like the homeowners ordered it. So they felt guilty. Like if we ordered that faucet, they would be like, this is ugly. But because they ordered it, they were almost like, oh, this is perfect. This is exactly what we envisioned. But we're like, this is so bad. This is trash. What do you mean? Like, this is what you envision. Um, but they wouldn't, you know, replace it, which was kind of funny. There you go. Comments died down? Yeah. You guys are not into this? Yeah, you, you don't like what you see? We got 37 people watching and 41 likes. 41 likes. The record for the likes was this weekend. 85 likes was the record that, we, that we've that we ever had um, in a stream, like during a stream. So let's see if we can beat it. I doubt it. This is not as exciting as checking out my wife and asking her questions. <sighs> What's legit? Spaldo, still with you, dog. Still with you. What's up, Spaldo? I'm excited for the, tr the so we're calling it Weekend with Winnie because we don't want to call it a training. Training sounds official and there's absolutely nothing official about what we're going to be doing. So like, <laughs> I don't want to put that pressure on myself or even you guys it's more like weekend with winnie we're gonna hang out we'll have like we'll go out to dinner together you'll learn how to tile it's gonna be fun as hell um but it's definitely not gonna be like even i'm gonna go to a training So I'm excited for that. Catherine was like putting together the itinerary, itinerary for the weekend. And uh, that's kind of fun. Left is hot. Right is cold. Whoa. I feel like if I say training, it's like, like that sounds very official. Yo, can you pass me the little healthy?
is one of these stupid things where you have to cut these. Wendy, do you have any advice for tackling tub stains from the well water? Are there any coatings you can get, etc.? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm sorry. All right, so. This is lame. Lame. I, I gotta cut this. Oh, we have a saza here. Maybe we can just cut it with the saza. I think it's because we put that extension on it. Now they want me to cut it. Looking forward to seeing your Q&A with Sal before the weekend with Winnie. Q&A with Sal before the weekend with Winnie. Yeah, it's, we're, we're, we're trying to figure that out because he's got some stuff going on. So it might be the weekend of or just before or even after. So it's cool because he's doing a bathroom. He's doing a bathroom remodel, uh, a uh, tile job, two two tiles, two tile jobs, I guess. Um, literally in the town that I'm in right now, which is kind of crazy. So I'll, uh, we kind of talk and, you know, everything goes well. I'm going to, you know, go visit him and stuff and kind of help out, you know, his channel. Because hopefully he needs help or whatever. Savage. <laughs> Roy, I never liked those. What? Oh, that's all I said. I never liked those. Ow. Those trainings? I never liked that Winnie, eh? Cool. All right. We have some pecs, Alex. Because that one is just, it's not going to reach. Hold on, let me cut this off. Um, we have clear or red. Yeah, red. Whatever. Like, it could be whatever. Uh, hold, on, hold on, let me cut this. Because I'll take the phone. We'll need that. We'll need a, a connection. Connection, you know what I'm saying? A connector. Mm -hmm. And uh, four more rings. Hold on. All right. Yo, so I went to uh, a store today, right in our, actually a new store that opened locally near us. It's called Harbor Freight. I'm sure all of you guys have heard about it. Um, I've never actually bought any tools from them before, but I'm trying to do a, uh, a, a video series, probably like 10 videos on comparing Harbor Freight tools to other tools and seeing how they perform. Damn, this is much looser here. the whole thing apart. I think I got it too hot because it was almost burning it off. So I feel like it's almost the, the opposite of it.
All right, now I just got to connect it in the back. Test the waters. Oh, nice. This one's a little too strong. Do you want to go and grab hot? Just a little bit of the pipe connect connector. And uh, all right. So that's what we got. I think it looks pretty slick. Hold on, let me show you guys. Looks really nice. But the old valve in here was not long enough. Uh, I mean, it was lower than that one, so we have to uh, kind of cut those out over there and then just reconnect them into the back over there. Oh, man. This is not the most exciting stream today, but it's just kind of this minutia stuff that is just so frustrating. For a concrete mixer, and it performs awesome. Let's go. Next two pallets of okay, it's still alive. That's so cool. I'm sure you like those things. You're like, looks nice. Thank you so much. Um, I'm sure with those things you buy, you're like, oh my God, I don't know if it's actually going to uh, survive or not, right? Um, so, what is standard metric uh, ranching wrench and socket set from Harbor Freight about 13 years ago? I use them constantly, never any issues. Dang, see, but like, but if you tell anybody that, um, you have another one of these? Oh. Two of these. Um, if you tell anybody about that, right, they'll be like, bro, Harbor Freight, me. Um, and again, I'm not like sponsored by them or anything like that. It's just like, I'd love to, uh, I guess, poke fun of people like myself that are just like, yo, Hilti. Like, it's got to be Hilti or it's got to be uh, Milwaukee or DeWalt. So it's going to be fun to piss them off. Because, <laughs> um, you know, if I say like, hey, you know, there's... Uh, this Milwaukee drill set is 750 bucks. This Harbor Freight one is 150, 175. Is it really worth it? And they'll say like, oh, I'll see you in 10 years. I'll say like, all right, I'll see you. All right, um, let's do this really quick. Oh, hold this. Okay, so I only have red. Pex. Harbor Freight tool comparison to the would be very interesting. I think so as well. I will say you gotta get 24 karat gold ratchet. They're limited. Oh, they have something like that? Yeah. Have you ever seen it on TikTok? No. All right, so this. I don't feel good about that solder joint there, so this is kind of sketchy. But that's why we have an access panel. All right. I mean, so that was that. Like, I mean, you saw how annoying it is to solder or whatever. And now. You watch this so literally i gotta throw here if you go over my shoulder here on the side house so i gotta put one of these on this kind of um you know connection and then one on the other one so literally give it nice like five to six like expansions and then i'm gonna just put it in there one two three four five Dang. That's connected.
connected there. So that is our cold. Now I'm gonna do one more. That's our hat. But like how much easier is that versus freaking soldering? What's your opinion on waxless toilet flanges seals? On what? Waxless? Yeah. Oh, uh, I've dumped like two or three before and they leaked on me and I don't know. I honestly feel like I just didn't do a good job installing them. So we've been installing extra thick wax rings. Um, the jumbo ones. The jumbo rings. All right, so now same thing here. Give this like six seconds. Bang, that's that. So this now needs to connect to that. That needs to connect to that. So let me kind of give it a little bit of slack here. There. Yeah, but it could be honestly worse. We could have like no access panel. And it could really be worse. Michael, uh, I got the jumbo wax ring on standby just in case there's a leak. <laughs> yeah, I usually try to see like if you're getting that ooze out kind of through the bolts. That's when you know you got a good squeeze in there. You guys probably know exactly what I'm talking about. So watch this. See here, again, kind of, I'm gonna expand this. Like, I'm, I'm gonna hit it with my, sh the camera with my shoulder, Alex. You gotta come over the top. Second. Soldering sucks. I just I hate soldering. We're at 46 bucks. Can we get to 50? 46. Can we get to 50 before we get on? We can get to, we'll get to 50. We'll get to 50. Where's the like squad at? Honestly, I feel like some people just don't realize that like that helps. But if it's okay, one day. All right. That's a Milwaukee, that's not a Harbor Freight tool. It's marketing, I'm telling you it's all marketing. <sighs> Michael, grabbing my wife's phone and iPad to get more likes. <laughs> it's all right, honestly it's all right, don't, don't do that. 
Why is this? Is the box here, Alex, for it? Yeah, it's in the hand, brother. Do you want to get it? Yeah, I think what's happening is like the water got in here. Yeah. Let me see. All right, so we just gotta connect it. We just gotta connect those two right there and then we're good to go to test this to see how we did. There's any leaks. Don't feel 100% about it, but I think that looks fire. Um, so these guys, I think sometimes when it slips, it means water got into them and then you just need to grease this more. So we're gonna grease it and then um, it should be okay. But I mean, imagine trying to solder in there. That would suck. All right, so do we have the grease? All right, hold on. All right. So it's literally just Squeezing the grease on here, like so, kind of all around there. Because I remember this happened to my plumber, and this is what he did. And I'm hoping that's the issue we're having with this Milwaukee gun marketing. I'm telling you, it's just all straight marketing here. All right, let's see. Working better. Bang. I'm just gonna hold that there for right there. That's good. Now I'm gonna connect those two. Alright, hold on. there that's connected um i'm gonna give it a minute and then we can test it and see how we did and uh if we did it on the first try definitely deserves deserve some likes if we did not yo check this out there's little screws here i bet you that was for the other bolts bang okay All right, so, should wait another minute. But that's gonna be that. Oh, so what else do we have left? We have this, but there's a delay on getting this installed. And then our shower head and then the handheld. And then we have the toilet that has to go in. Super awkward spot for the toilet, but there was really not a lot of room to where to put it. And then we have to install this transition here. And uh, I have a piece of wood in the garage, so we can do that. And then that's gonna be it. All right, I'm gonna turn this on. That's the cold. That's the hot. Try to see if those fittings. See, like I have like zero. Funny, like I have absolutely zero like like this is good like I don't have to like think about it it's those soldered fittings that you're like well I don't know all right so
Good pressure. That third of water from the faucet scared me. Pretty good. Wow. Oh. All right. Hey. No leaks. Let's go. Um, cool. Well, I'm happy about that. That's a massive win. Good job, Alex. Thank you for your help. Um, all right, so that is done. Happy about that. Uh, then Alex is gonna be working on a patch in the other room. I gotta get the toilet, and then we're gonna be working on this. So tomorrow, legit, we should be able to finish this entire job, pack up and get out of here. Um, I'm still like freaked out about this. I wanna make sure it's actually good, but I, I've got nothing. Got nothing. Awesome. I mean, you guys saw how sketchy that little weld was. All right. Well, if you guys do enjoy this and you want to see more of this, definitely hit that like button. That's how I know. Also, that you guys like this stuff. Also, comment down below. Let me know what else you'd like for me to talk about so we can keep this conversation rolling. I hope you guys um, are enjoying these. I'm having fun with them. And I hope you guys have a good day. It's a Monday. You guys should be able to get a bunch of stuff done. All right. Say so bye.